Hello everyone, I don't know if you remember our last episode, the headlight was flickering on this. So uh, the little wire inside there, it got desoldered. So uh, I can't let it go, <laughs> I've got to work on that today. I've been playing around with it, uh, I really like this, It's. Uh, I'm really happy to have this now. Let's just see how long it's going to take to... Uh, pop open this shell but that's what happens when you like uh, your engine well you spend a little bit more time being careful to keep it nice I think I'm gonna go just do just like my PA ones and use a toothpick to keep it open and do the same thing to the other side Let's see if I can get it past the little pin. I looked uh, online to see about the value of this and uh, I found a parts one. Um, trains which they are really knowledgeable about the pricing of things and they were asking 117 and it looked to me like a parts engine. So I think they're pretty valuable. Although, like I said last video, this is the little wire that became uh, unsoldered. So we're going to work on that today. Uh, sometimes, you know, I just want to get the video out in time on Friday. And I really didn't have time to do it as part of the video. So uh, here we are today. If I can get this right, then um, this engine is going to be mint. Other than the little screw I put on the tender, which uh, you can hardly see. So let's uh, warm up the old soldering iron. I just have to... Uh, wire to this so let's go so the trick here I hope you can see the trick here is to get the the part warm but not too warm so that it melts the plastic that looks good well it turns out I did melt the plastic a little bit at any rate there's a little uh, cap that goes over here and you have a tiny tiny light bulb so um, if you decide to convert it to um, uh, LEDs you would work from this end and then the, uh, and then this little housing just goes over it and makes contact with the other side of the track from the tender. Alright, so let's just test it out. that's working great I'm gonna put the shell back on and we'll go try it on the track the little window fell out so I have seen some models um, some videos on, on this model where that happened and uh, the person that had that was quite uh, quite unhappy about that so I guess that's a nice detail that people want to keep around So um, on the previous video, I had everything perfect. And then when I put the shell back on, the light would flicker. Uh, I hope this won't happen to me now. Just want to make sure it's 100% in that little space for it. I put it on everything's good 
and now it's time to run some trains well I hope you enjoyed the video I certainly had fun making it for you See you soon.